I've got two microphones for you to review, and I think they're in the same league, if not close. The Rode Video Micro, had it a long time. Great microphone for no battery, a good pickup. It's worked great. What I ordered is the DD Video Mic D4 Duo. And it's got a few tricks up its sleeve. It's got your regular microphone, very similar. They're similar in nature. But it has a reverse microphone and a toggle switch on it. A toggle switch there. You can have just the front mic or you can have both mics. And then you got one more little secret weapon. There is in the side another input. So this will split off the main channel and the front mic or the front and rear mic. I haven't tested it out. Comes with a plug. But I think it's got at least two tricks more than the plain video micro. And again, no battery. The, the housing couldn't be the shock absorption unit couldn't be any more similar. Uh, the, the, probably the biggest thing is the road mic plugs into the rear of it. And this one plugs into the side, which is interesting. It's an interesting uh, unit. Now, of course, this costs a little more because it comes with two dead cats. Now, I love looking for dead cats. I found the road dead cat. And they look similar, almost almost the same gray hair as I got throughout the thing. I'm, you put on one of these, uh, I'm just going to tell you, I'm not a huge fan of dead cats. I guess if you're really in a windy and you got to have it, you got to have it. I like these little foam. I first bought it for the micro because it just doesn't, you have this on there, no matter how big the camera is. Children, you should just see the kit. Well, what is that? They see, think it's a stuffed animal or some, I guess it's kind of, it's a dead cat, but it attracts more attention. Put a little foam, it doesn't attract attention. And I tried this out. Now these are off uh, Amazon. And I know somebody in the comments on one of the other videos <laughs> thought I was trying to like sell a zillion of these. Not really what I'm up to, but uh, the foam on the D4 Duo fits perfect. Covers that front mic great. You can cover even the back mic if you want. And it comes in a set of two, so... I guess I'm selling. The links to everything will be down in the description below. So, there you go. You've got... Now, oh, one more. The Video Micro also came out in a version... I believe it was for the iPhone. And I had it, and I took off the clip for the iPhone... And it has a side plug, so it's a Rode Video Micro, but made for an iPhone. I converted it with a plug adapter to use it just like the other. I, I figured, why waste it if I'm not using it with my phone? Uh, I bought a shock mount to uh, off of Amazon. And that this unit has a plug in the back for headphones. So if you wanted to hear directly... So, it costs a little extra to get some of the pieces that just come with this, but it, it almost is the same microphone. It seems to work the same. So, just something I did. 
uh, with the previous mic from Rode that I, I did. Now you may wonder what I'm doing in the setup. I'm using the Canon M6 Mark II, which does great. I've got a Rode Wireless Go, the first version that I've got hitched here. I do have the second version, but I'm using just one microphone. And this microphone is nothing but the, the Rode Wireless. You buy this extra accessory of a stick with the foam mount. I just realized I messed up the audio. I just got a regular mic stand, just put it in it. I find this is easier to do. And I'm gonna change the setup to just show the difference between the two mics hitched directly to the Canon M6 Mark II. Not gonna play with the rear microphone, like vlogging with somebody in front, and I'm not gonna try the side input in this video. I'm gonna do it in another video. I need a little bit of time to test it out, but I just wanted to tell you, this is kind of, put in the comments what you would like to see, like what your setup. My, my thought is, I'd like to see how the two channels work. So I could use this as a microphone, similar to like this or on the camera. And then another person with the wireless go attached. Not sure exactly how I'm gonna do that. I guess I just need to find another spot on the camera. I know recently I had a big rig around my Canon M6 Mark II to attach a couple of places. I went back to one single plate. It just makes it easier to use. But let's let's just stop here. I'll hitch this mic on instead of the wireless go. We'll do a test with this, and then we'll do a test with the Rode. So, so let's try the DD D4. Okay, this is the DD, I think I'm saying that, <laughs> it might not be DD, uh, but it's the D4 Duo, you're listening to it. I did put the camera a little closer, um, I'll move that away, so I'm uh, an arm's length away from the microphone. Seems to be picking up really good. And uh, that's the sound test for this one. No dead cat, no foam on it, anything else. We'll stop there and we'll switch and see what it sounds like with the Rode Video Micro. About the same length away. Seems like this mic isn't quite picking up quite as loud. I can see. I can see the distance were a little softer, but the mic is three years old, four years old compared to brand new and right out of the gate. So this one comes in a little bit louder. It'll be interesting listening to the playback on the sound. So this is the Rode Video Micro. Uh, I bought it three years plus ago. This one I bought, got it yesterday. I hope this is a good quick comparison in case you're looking to purchase the two. I will do more extensive of uh, the front and back and the additional input on the side. I know there's a lot of YouTubers that have already done that, so you probably could check those out. But I, I, I wanted the flexibility of using something else rather than the Wireless Go 2. And having wireless transmitters, just having one. I just wanted the opportunity to use this microphone and see if it's a lot better. It is more money, but you do get two microphones instead of one, and you get an input into the side. Hopefully that all works out great. Thanks for watching. Please let me know in the comments below if you're interested in any of these two items or the foams that go on there. I'll have links in the description below. But that's my quick audio test day one. Probably not the best to, uh, you know, if I'm you, ask me some questions in the bottom. Let me do another video.
get more uses out of it. It might make more sense. Thanks for watching.